So I've wanted to make this video for a while now. Um, I just hadn't got around to it, but now I have like a lot of rare knives, and it's some that I want to show you from season one. Um, one being a blue camo that has an active one, meaning it moves around. It's, it's like it's actually pretty sick. Um, I also want to say I did order my Elgato today, and it's coming on Friday, so I should be able to start streaming really soon. So make sure to subscribe for that. Um, it's gonna be like probably mostly on YouTube, uh, maybe Trovo. I don't really like Trovo that much, but hey, might be on Trovo a little bit. But either way, guys, subscribe. Um, hey, and just thank you, man. We went up like 2k subs in seven days and that's the highest i've ever done like seriously thank you guys like that's that's wild all right to kick off the showcase um i want to show you like, this this was just my favorite knife like i loved it and it actually took me a really long time to get i had to keep spending money on it i just really wanted it and this was when there was only default knives in the game um so like any knife that came up with a skin at the time was like rare man it was like cool to see um there wasn't any katanas there was no axe yet there was no bat nothing like that so this was just a really good skin to get and it was just probably the best one out at the time um there's only four skins that i want to show you out of all of these um and they're all season one and two and that's the only reason i'm showing you and they're just they're just clean man they're clean to even like the standard now um this right here is actually one of my favorite knives in the game um it's a blue but it has a reactive camo so if you stare at the lights they actually do blink uh, they dim um some will go brighter some will actually change so it is a reactive camo if you have it put it on and check it out in game it's actually really cool to see um it's a blue with a moving camo it's like the only ones like that um the star camos are the only ones that have that effect let's see yeah if i zoomed in you could see it because i can see it blinking right now um it's just so sick this one uh, see, I don't, I don't really like how this one looks, but it is OG. It, it was from the beginning, early games, so I am going to show it to you right here. Uh, and this, Red Dragon, bro. I remember I wanted this so bad. I don't know why it's not even that clean, but I wanted it so bad, dude. I, I finally got it. I was pretty hype on that. Um, same with this thing, but they brought it back 10 times, so it's like, screw this. This thing is garbage. Turbo, garbage, belongs in the trash can. I wish I could sell it. Um, they brought it back way too many times for it to have any value to me. Um, also, metal note right here. I even remember the name before clicking it. Oh my god, dude. Season one, bro. Metal note was so clean. They had the metal note backpack, everything. This was one of the best skins that came out. Um, so that was for the knives. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into the other ones. All right, so the bat, this one's going to be quick and sweet, boys. I only have two camos for this. And one is this. This is the Mad Clown Bat. This was the original, the first one that ever came out. Um, and honestly, it used to blow the bat chode, boys. Let me tell you. All right, if I can find the clip, I'm going to put it in. But it used to swing through opponents. Look, it just used to swing through them, man. It would go right through their body, and it would just kill nobody. It was terrible, and it took them months to fix it. But they finally did, and I love you guys for it. GG's. Thank you, Cod Mobile. Um, but yeah, the bat, man. And it's honestly one of the best melee weapons in the game currently. Um, if not, number one. Like, it is arguably the best. Um, absolutely argument can be made for this. So, the axe. Now, this. This right here. This is not a rare camo. This. This is the OG camo. This is the original. This is the best one that's ever been out. Um, look, man, it's just, it was a reactive camo, and you got it from zombies. And I had to grind zombies for so long, bro. I mean, so long. I did not get it. I had to piece it out. I had to get 100 shards, dude. Think about that. Um, I probably played, like... 50 hours of zombies um i would just go to round 12 knives only like just slicing up zombies getting to round 12 and then quitting because that was like the max rewards like you couldn't get any extra stuff after 12 rounds so it's like dude that's that's how planned out it was for me to get this and then they finally brought it back to the store which you had to spend like 20,000 credits on um so it is still a rare knife i never see it i almost i don't see this running around um i i absolutely see the default one i see the ruby sometimes i've seen a lot of this everyone got this for some reason like this was just so easy to get um, and you obviously, you, you see the defaults out there, boys. You see the platinum, you see the axes, you see the gold. Um, but man, it's like that Lava Axe axes just the, the prime example of what it was supposed to be, man. And it used to be so good, boys. Let me tell you, 10 fire rate, 50. I'm not gonna lie. But moving on, we're gonna go ahead and go to another one. Now, I just wanna show you guys this one real quick and explain a few things about it. Um, gunsmith scroll probably all right here all right they've never brought out really a bunch of these this, i think there's like two only like two of them um and for good reason they are actual garbage they are terrible the worst melee weapon in the game is right here um looks cool actually the best looking one in the game in my opinion nice blue has a good shape it looks kind of like a sickle um i loved it and it used to be really good when it had its 15 range um but you know as you see it says 10 range and that is legit it is now a 10 range 10 fire rate and what it used to be was nine range uh, nine fire rate 15 range and it was it was 
broken. You did have to be accurate because it had a weird swing and it would just only hit in front of you. Um, so you couldn't wiggle with it, but it was just, oh, it was amazing, boys. So onto something that's actually usable and good. Colorburst Karambit. Uh, I know a lot of people might have this and most of you don't. Um, there was a weird glitch that came out so you could get it once you purchased. Um, enough CP would just give it to you. And it was accidentally brought back out that way. Um, but originally you just had to spend, I think it was like $40 to get this. Um, and hey, this was the first the uh, first variant of a knife that ever came to the game this was it um so you know i was spending that 40 dollars. it was nothing i could do about it i had to get this and I, it was worth it it was so good at the time it still is um a crumpet even now is like busted bro they're just so good like 10 range 10 fire it um you can't beat it man you really can't you just get close and just hold down the, the shoot button and you're just swinging for days man it is so good um honestly probably the best skin uh well hey hey hey, hey. everyone's like wait a minute yeah, this is yeah, this is the best Karambit skin. So I do have three Karambits. Um, no real need for the three Karambits, but hey, I got variety, boys. I get to choose, you know. I if I'm feeling red, I use mine, okay. And this is my Karambit. Look around you, boys. It's all red and black and white. Please accept it. <laughs> I, I don't actually think they made it for me though. I don't. I just thought they. It, it's it's cool though. It's cool that it matches. Um, so Space Station, Ruby Crombit, and then the OG Color Burst that I guess some people got it when it wasn't OG, but it doesn't matter, it is still one of the best looking knives in Call of Duty Mobile, factually. Um, uh, you know, the Hachi, this actually is rare, uh, surprisingly. Nobody has this, really. The default Hachi, the original, nobody, nobody got it. It was really weird. I know, uh, Pure has it because he buys everything, but like, dude, I don't know too many people with the Hachi. I really don't. I never see it in game, um... Yeah, I just, I feel like the Hachis are just hard to get for some reason. Um, you know, they, with the new pumpkin one, a lot of people have been running around with that one, which is cool to see. Um, but yeah, man, I've never seen this in-game except for me. I promise, like, I've never seen anyone else with it. It's wild. Um, this is the Dragon Fang Hachi. Not, not close to as rare as the original. Um, but hey, it looks good. Dude, it has a dragon on the hilt. Like, it's an actual modification towards it. It's not just a different color. Um, so it, it looks amazing, actually. I'm going to put it on. I, I didn't even think about that myself till now. Like that, that's sick. That is, that's mad clean. It's golden black, nice handle and a dragon on the bottom. Man, they, whoever did this took their time on that one, huh? That's clean, I like that. And something that we didn't get when it was original, so hey, 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 sorry, Hawk's Nest. Um, the pumpkin head slider. Now, a lot of people are like, why does he call it the slider? I don't know. Um, I guess that's what I thought it was called, was the pumpkin head slider. And I, it's not. Clearly, it's the folding knife pumpkin head. Um, but I always just thought it was called the pumpkin head slider. I don't I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, so that's just what I've always called it. And that's what I'm not. I'm not going to change them now, boys. It's the pumpkin head slider. Um, it's really sick, dude. It has this nice throat animation. It's really nice. If I would have got it originally, um, you would have seen this in about mm, at least 50 videos by now. Just It's just clean. Um, the only unfortunate part is that it's so damn small in game. It's like you're holding a screw and you're just running around like this. You can't see the knife. Like, it's not actually in your hands, unfortunately. Um, it'd be really cool if they give it, you know, a little length to it. You don't gotta change the stats, but make the knife bigger uh, so I can actually see it in game. That'd be sick, you know what I mean? Um, and everyone knows, we all got this, bro. We all got this. If you spend any money and didn't get the battle pass, I don't know what you're doing, buddy, because crates aren't where it is. Um, you can get a go, you, a glow stick, dude. And this was the best thing. And I know it's not rare, but I'm actually so excited. Like, this has a really good memory attached to it, dude. Like, I opened up the game. I was expecting to see this thing somewhere. It wasn't out yet. And then you check the battle pass, and there was something that nobody knew about. Not the leakers. Nobody knew this was coming. So this was just really nicely well hidden. Um, and just a good surprise for everybody, man. That's when, that's literally the moment they started, like, really showing attention to Melee. Like, Melee has been getting love since this came out. So I love the glow stick. I really do. Just honestly one of the best. Now, everybody has this. And I don't understand why they don't use it. Look at this, guys. Look at it. It's, there's nothing else that looks like this. It's the only knife in the game that looks like this. It's it's gorgeous, man. Um, if you ever played Combat Arms, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is clean, boys. Like, this is, this is just nice. I, I do love it. Um, you know, so other than that, I really don't have... Too many other knives that I want to show you. If you guys did make it this far, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe. I know this video was a lot of talking, but I hope you guys did enjoy. I don't really make videos like this, and I don't really want to. Um, I like playing the game and having a good time. However, I did have a good time making. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ajax Sphere on an Xbox 360. It's a thumper. No. No. It's so bad. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can boost the fire rate. I'm good. Holy shit.